What's up, guys? It's Ty Walker from the Ty Walker Show. I'm here with Ricky Bob. What's up, Ty? Ricky. <laughs> Woo! Shake and bake. Hey, got a little bit of interview. Got a couple of questions for you today. All right. For one, how did you get started for doing all your stuff with Ricky Bobby and everything? Uh, I was changing a tire, and the real driver decided to go take a crap and uh, get a fish sandwich or something, I think. Uh -huh. I could be chicken, I'm not sure. But, uh, uh, and somebody said, you want to go fast? I said, hell yeah, I like to go fast. So I jumped in the car, and the rest is history. Nice, nice. What else, man? What do you got? What do you got for me? I know you got to play in this stuff. Yeah. This is kind of impromptu. <laughs> yeah, it's got... kind of impromptu, isn't it? Yeah. Well, all time, your favorite NASCAR driver, all time. Uh, me. You? <laughs> me. Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be me. Is there anybody else besides you? No, nobody but me. <laughs> nobody but well, you. Well, Cal. Cal. Cal yeah. second. Yeah, Cal second. Yeah. 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 That's what I was looking for. Yeah, Magic Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you bet you. What is Shake it? and Bake. What's your favorite sponsorship you've ever had? Shake and Bake. Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. <laughs> you, you know that. It's Wonder. Yeah. It's Wonder Bread. Yeah. How can you not? Hey, you take a sponsor where you can get it. Yeah. That's right. What's your favorite moment driving, Ricky Bobby? Uh, Well, I used to say it was that part when I was upside down, but it kind of shook me up a little bit. Yeah. It kind of shook me up. It took me about 10 years of therapy to get over that and that fire. Don't ever catch on fire. No. Okay. All right. Don't don't ever catch on fire. It's no fun. No yeah. fun at all. Yeah. Oh, and don't stab yourself in the leg either. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's no that's no good either. What about when you're driving with that whole thing on your windshield? Oh, the fig noons. Yeah. They are delicious. <laughs> are they not? They are. They are. They are it's inconveniently good. placed on the windshield, <laughs> but they are delicious. That's a fact. That's all the questions I got for you, Ricky Bobby. Oh, hey, hey, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. How about this? Uh, what other characters can you do? Hey, my name is David Babcock. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Shake a bag. I mean, no, really, really. Hey, right. here, here. Come on. Don't leave me hanging. All right, all right. No, my name is David Babcock. I'm a Will Ferrell impersonator. I do a lot of different stuff, a lot of Will Ferrell stuff. Yeah. Oh, man, we, we got some competition. Yeah, we, do. we got some competition here. We have to pull it in tight. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Like this. Yeah. yeah so no, uh, I I uh, I started doing a Halloween costume because she, that's the lovely wife there. Uh -huh. She wanted to do Halloween, and uh, she said you be Ron Burgundy, and I said okay, I'll do Ron Burgundy. Actually, I said nah, hell, I'm not putting on a costume. And she, I haven't worn a costume since I was 12. Wow. That's what I told her. And she goes, well, what happened to that spontaneous guy I met? Okay, well, I know those are fighting words if you're married. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. Listen for that. If you okay. ever get married, listen for that. Okay. 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 Yeah, because it's time to step up. Yeah. Okay. So that's what happened. So we went ahead and did a. So we, I went ahead and went to the thrift store. And got a four dollar jacket. A four dollar jacket. I spray painted it red. Uh huh. And turned it into a Ron Burgundy jacket. Nice. And we won a trip to New York City. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. I know, right? For four dollars. Hey. Well, the paint cost more than the jacket, actually. Uh, smelled the pure gasoline, too. <laughs> smelled like Sex Panther, if you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but stings the nostrils. Oh, I was so flammable. I was more flammable than Ricky Bobby that night. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what happened, and we started doing that. We started winning costume contests, all kinds of stuff. Had a great time. Got to go lots of places. Still do. Uh, now we get to go, I mean, I've been to Hawaii, London, Paris, New York City, a bunch of times, Vegas all the time. Yeah. Heck, I go to San Diego to be Ron Burgundy a couple times a month sometimes. Nice. A couple times a month. Yeah. I mean, it get paid to do it, stay in nice hotels, get to be the king of the walk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so anyway, do all kind of stuff like that, but it's kind of fun. So uh, we saw an opportunity, we seized the moment, you know what I mean? So all you kids out there, or listeners, or whoever, whoever you are out there, here's the key. If the wife says jump, jump. If she says, what happened to that spontaneous guy I'm married? Step up. Yep. And if you see an opportunity, take it. Yep. Because make some money, buy your beach house, for sail off into the sunset. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, Ty. Hey, it's been good. Is this a good podcast? Yeah, it is. All right, podcast. there we go. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.